Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest The Lost Tales. And we are here, finally, back with Sparrow. Uh, it has been a bit, and uh, I don't think Sparrow really has uh, any idea of what exactly has been going on as he's uh, taking a nap here. We'll let him get till morning. Uh, but yeah, so in the time since we have last seen Sparrow, the Slough Creek uh, episode has actually come out. Uh, we now ha have been checking that out with our Wayfinders pack, and it's taken us a little bit to get back to Sparrow's story. So that's uh, that's been a little bit... Uh, I didn't mean to leave the series for so long, we've just been preoccupied exploring Slough Creek. And uh, it's uh, it's been a little bit, but Sparrow's quest does continue here as we are on the, the hunt for a moose. And I want to talk about some of the new changes I'm going to be making to the way that I run the series in light of the way I've started running things with Slough Creek. So you may have noticed that I'm timing my episodes a little bit different. They are a little bit shorter than they have been, but they're more consistently within the range that I'm looking for them to be. And that's because, hello? We've got Dispersal Wolves Stormcloud 23F. Uh, so Sparrow is allowed to take a mate. I don't think it's his priority right now, but uh, it, it is something he is allowed to do if he so desires. We can go ahead, we'll grin a little bit, we'll say hello. He's, his primary focus is still going to be on finding a moose, and so I don't think we want to spend too long here. Oh, we have to slow down a little bit. I have been moving too quickly, I'm afraid. It looks like 23F has a three-star diversity. I'm not sure... Oh, there's one behind us, too. It's 27F, also three-star diversity. I'm not sure... Have we met these guys before? It's been a little bit since I've played with uh, Sparrow, and I think we may have bumped into these two. Um... So we'll give them a little bit a little bit of a friendly exchange here, but I don't think Sparrow's going to be super focused on... Oh, we did convince them to get to know us better, but I think we're going to head off and uh, look around for a moose, because that's still Sparrow's primary focus. He has to find a moose calf and bring it down to complete his challenge. Uh, but yeah, so I was talking about timing the episodes, and that's one of the things that's especially been prevalent with the Lost, or, or with the, uh, Lost Tales episodes. And one of the things, oh, <laughs> speaking of moose, here is our, our resident floppy moose hanging out in her pen. But uh, we're not, we're not going to bring down floppy moose, that's not why we're here. We've got coyotes down there it looks like, but I don't see, oh, there is a mule deer. And it looks like the dispersal wolves are still following us, so I think we're just going to keep moving and hopefully we outpace them. Uh, but one of the things we run into is the episode length is actually pretty important for the um, for the Lost Hills, and not uh, not the length of the finished episode as much as the length of the time that we spend. If we have an episode that takes a really long time to get through, but we cut it way down to be within the range of the normal episodes I post, then that kind of gives an unfair advantage to our wolves, and I don't really like the way that works as well. Uh, we kind of want to keep the limited time so that uh, these guys do have that uh, that time limit, that pressure to be able to complete their challenge up, and we gotta watch for strange wolves, but I'm just gonna run by the water here. We should be sniffing too. But I don't see anything at the moment. Uh, we want to keep an eye out. Um, so the change that I'm making to the way that I time my episodes, especially for the Lost Tales, is going to be that I actually will be timing them according to one day in-game, more specifically one sleep bar in-game. So when our sleep bar runs out, we're going to try to sleep as soon as we possibly can, and that's where we wrap the episode, with us sleeping in between them. Uh, I've been doing that a little bit for the Slough Creek episodes, not as strictly, but uh, that kind of helps me time them out a little bit better, and so I'm going to be moving to that more officially for the Lost Tales. That'll help make it so that no wolf gets an unfair advantage, even if uh, it turns out to be... So, it's so, like, the unfair advantage would be we had a really uneventful episode, and we kind of just had to, um... Like, we, we kind of kept moving on and cut most of it down now that I'm starting to edit more. Uh, that would be an unfair advantage to that wolf, and that's really not what I want for the series. So we're going to go ahead and uh, change our methods there, kind of match it up with the way I'm going to be running Slough Creek episodes. And even though that may result in some, some shorter episodes too, it also makes it easier for me to post more regularly. I hear someone howling. That could be those dispersals. We'll howl back. I think Sparrow isn't necessarily... Like, it's not necessarily that he doesn't care. Actually, he really needs to hunt too. I bet that is those dispersals. Uh, he definitely needs some food, or it could be the male dispersals that just wandered through here. But yeah, it's not so much that he doesn't really care, it's more that uh, he's preoccupied. 
Um, I'm sure he will want to take a mate when the time comes. He's just not super focused on it for the time being because finding a mate is not his challenge. He wants to prove his hunting skills and what good is it? Hello? Oh, these must be, oh, these are windstorm dispersals. So these are males. So those would be competitors. Those would be rivals. And uh, I don't think Sparrow is uh, gonna gonna want to mess around with them. They seem like they were gonna run off anyway, but there's no good there's no sense in picking a fight really. So that's kind of kind of where I stand with that. We'll go ahead and see though. We can sniff around mule deer. All right, um, we'll try and track down a mule deer because we do need to actually eat. Otherwise, we're not gonna have enough stamina for the fight. But I do want to be kind of careful. Hopefully, we can find well. You know, we'd be better off finding a carcass if we could. Or maybe we should just... You know, actually, we'd be better off finding a few hairs, I think. I think that'd be our best option. Because that's not going to... Oh, those are just mule deer. Oh, that is a fawn. It's, uh, it's an older fawn than what we're used to in Slough Creek, of course, though. Uh, I think we're not going to focus... Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not, because I don't want to, the, the last thing I'd want to have happen, which probably would happen, is the one time we find a moose calf is going to be when we're already injured. Oh, there is an elk carcass around here. Um, but we, since they've been in such short supply, that's, uh, that's been our difficulty, and uh, we do want to make sure that we're not going to be injured and then lose the fight because of that. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of why I'm changing things up a little bit. It'll make it easier to keep everything fair so that we don't have to worry about, um, we don't have to worry about one wolf getting a lot more time than another. It just makes it a little bit easier to track and it makes it easier for me to keep my episodes to a manageable length so that I can actually continue to produce them. So it means I can put out content a little more frequently without stressing myself out. All right, here we go. We've got a hair. Well, I'm going to go for the carcass. I'm being very indecisive, I know, but uh, I just want to make sure. Oh, I see ravens. I bet that's... Oh, boy. Well, we've got... We've got a cougar. Oh, pack wolves ahead. Oh, pack wolves that are interested in leaving their pack. Hello? Hello? Who are you? Oh, that's a stranger wolf. Hello. There is a lost river wolf, though, a female. Let's run back out of the territory. Oh my goodness, I should have known these guys would be right on my tail as soon as I got out of here. But, uh, oh my gosh, are we out of the territory? Yeah, leave us alone. Leave us be. I don't know which one that was, but apparently there is a wolf that's uh, interested in courtship here, too. I barely got a chance to look at her up there. I don't know if she'll come down to see us. But uh, it seems she was accompanied by a, a rather, rather protective sibling. Not, uh, not, not exactly what we're looking for. Two M. So it seems like a brother. Oh, who is this? Oh, is this? Is this is her though? Okay, she only has two stars diversity. But we'll go ahead and uh, we'll we'll say hello to kind of get to know the residents here. Would these guys help us scare off the cougar? Maybe. Oh. Oh, she's a little skittish, it looks like. Her brother's still wandering around, so I'm going to keep an eye on him. But uh, we'll be friendly, at least. So I don't know if our Lost Tales wolves will end up having pups. Most of them probably will not. But I, we still do want to keep the diversity in mind as if they would, because, you know, it's something that even if we don't see it, you know, it's kind of like if you look at Sparrow's radio collar and you think about, in, in, you know, in the real world... Uh, these these wolves that have collars like this. Oh, she's laying down. She kind of came over just to hang out and watch the bison. Um, I feel like these guys are, are appreciating each other's company, at least. But, you know, it's kind of like with that radio collar. At some point, that radio collar... Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, it's kind of lagging out on us a little bit. This is not so good. All right, it came back. I think maybe it's saying that uh, now is not quite the time for courtship, perhaps. But we'll... we'll... We'll make a little bit of a friend, and then I think we'll be on our way again. We'll see if we can get to that carcass and actually snag some of it. I don't know if those wolves would have chased the cougars away, but we might have to book it back out into the open. Oh, there's a fox. 
Oh, I'm gonna ignore the fox. I just want, oh, I just want to eat. We're probably gonna get ambushed by that wolf's brother in a minute here, but I just want to, to get Sparrow's food back up. But as I was saying, so you know, he's got this radio collar. If you think about a wolf with a radio collar, that collar's not gonna last forever. Eventually it's going to wear out, stop working, fall off, something like that. And uh, those researchers, unless they find the wolf and recollar it, they're not going to uh, gonna get to see that. Oh boy. Yep. Okay. Time to move. <laughs> but they're not gonna get to see the rest of that wolf's life, uh, even though that wolf may well live and uh, continue to have a story. They they're not gonna get to see it unless they track down the wolf and recollar it. And that's kind of like the way our stories go. A lot of them we don't see all the way to their ultimate conclusion. We just see a fraction of them. So we're seeing Sparrow before he has pups, maybe even before he finds a mate. And after that, you know, the radio collar falls off. It stop, stop gives, stops giving us a signal. We don't really get to see what the rest of his life is. We can certainly imagine it. And uh, I can't imagine that he wouldn't someday go on to have pups if he, as long as he uh, survives this adventure, of course. Oh, that's a bear. I was like, what is that? Is that a bison carcass? No, not, not, uh, not quite, uh, not quite food. <laughs> uh, we're at least fuller on our food bar now, though, so we're not going to starve at the very least. Um, but, so that's kind of how these stories are, and especially with the Lost Tales, which is a very short series as a whole. I mean, we only spend eight episodes with each wolf. It, it's not a huge series. It, it goes by very quickly, and uh, it's not something that we totally spend a huge amount of time on with, with every wolf. So that's kind of how this is. At some point, our view of his story will end, but his story will not necessarily end. And that's what I'm looking at here. Oh, there's the elevation pack as well. Uh, but yeah, so when we keep that in mind, we do want to operate as if he's going to have pups, even if that's not a thing that we end up getting to see. Uh, we want to make sure that he's making wise decisions in that and kind of taking that into account. If there's a wolf that uh, he feels like their their pups might, they might not be a good genetic match, their pups not might not be healthy, then he may be inclined to uh, not, uh, not, not invite that wolf to be his mate. Uh, that's kind of what uh, is going on here, and I don't know if that's necessarily the case with her. I think right now he's just more more focused on finding his moose calf so that he can prove himself and know if he gets into a situation, he's going to be able to take down any kind of prey that he may need to. But for now, um, I don't think uh, I, it might be something he'd want to consider in the future if it does come time for him to take a mate, basically, is what I'm trying to say here. Oop, we can't go that way. All right. We are being told we're not allowed to, to be back there, and uh, we're not going to fight that. We're going to keep poking around for just a little bit, I think, and uh, I'll see what we can find, but we've already lapped the map again. I don't know why they're so difficult to find, but for whatever reason, we're, we're having a very tough time with it, and uh, we are running low on sleep already a little bit. We're below halfway, so our time is, uh, time is starting to draw to its close here. And I'm not sure that's the greatest thing in the world. Um, we definitely want to uh, keep looking around, but for whatever reason, these moose are just utterly scarce, and we don't exactly have the massive land area to uh, explore around the way that we do in Amethyst Mountain and Slab Creek. We're kind of limited in even the areas which we can explore in, so that's not exactly doing us any favors either. I'm trying to kind of roam by the waterways because I do feel like moose tend to be more frequent there. Maybe that's just my imagination, but it seems like it could be. I think maybe we should run up, maybe we should run up to the, the hills though because we haven't checked up on the hills for a little bit. And so maybe we should go take a look at that and see if there's anything up here. I don't know if there will be or not, but it's somewhere we haven't checked. We've been hugging these streams for so long that if there is something, we may well have overlooked it. And I see paw prints, I see mule deer scent, I see elk and bison, but I don't see any moose. They're just very scarce. They're not this scarce in any of the other maps, it feels like. They just, they know that we're out to find them and they just are determined to not be found. Uh, it feels like, is that, that's stranger wolves that we're smelling, but I expect that they're in their territory and not uh, in this area that we're in right now. I expect they're kind of hanging out back in, uh, in their pack area, so this is Elevation Wolves. We just happen to be close enough that we can indeed smell them. But let's move up this way, we'll kind of look around again, 
And we'll let Sparrow's quest continue and see if, uh, see if he can find anything. There did used to be moose on the mountain, actually, though. This was a place where we would see bull moose fighting quite a lot in the old game. So maybe it's somewhere that we'll see wolves, uh, or we'll, not wolves, that we'll see moose hanging out even now. But I'm not too sure. Is that? That's just a tree. I almost thought that was going to be something... The problem is whenever we find moose sense, it's not it's not moose that we can we can do anything about, it's always a bull moose. And I think we would be hard pressed to take down a bull moose with a mate or even with a pack, let alone oh hello. I do smell moose though. I do smell moose. It's a bull moose. Again, exactly what I was talking about. Even if we follow the scent, we'd be hard pressed to take down a bull moose even with a pack. And uh, it's just not not working to our favor here. We really are having a hard time. And we, we've seen, you know, the elk calves are here. The mule deer fawns are here. So it's not as if that's not a thing, I don't think. But it's just... It's, it's just not not doing us any favors. Apparently, yeah, there's there goes a fawn. <laughs> so it should be a time when we can find them, right? I would imagine so, unless it's somehow bugged out. Which I don't think it would be. I don't see why it would be. I mean, I guess... I don't know, but... I It really just seems like they are just that rare, because we keep finding only bull moose, and even those are very, very few and far between. It seems like yet another another uh, episode may pass where we don't even find a moose unless our luck changes at the last moment. Now, and that's going to be difficult too, even with our with our lowering sleep meter. Now, I was going to say, if we're in the middle of a hunt or something, I'm not going to make us sleep to pass the night. Like, we can push it a little bit if we're actively in the middle of something, although we will be suffering the ill effects of not sleeping. But for the most part, I'm going to be trying to keep it to one waking period and then we'll sleep in between the episodes like we've been doing in Slough Creek. And that's going to be kind of the pattern for all of our series from here on out. That's a fox. We don't need to worry about that too much. But yeah, it really is looking like we're just not going to find any moose around. Do we see? There's not really any sense blowing this way. Oh, there's some over here. Wait, no, I lied. Oh, 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 we're falling down the hill. <laughs> All right, there are a few scents at least. Do I see? Nope, that's a stranger wolf. I saw the kind of bluish looking one. There's an elk carcass somewhere, but I don't think we need to worry about that. Maybe if we keep running crossways to the wind. Oh, I'm hearing, oh, I hear, hello? <gasps> oh my goodness, I is this, this is a cow moose. This is a cow moose, isn't it? Cow moose! Oh, ow, gosh, what the heck? She's coming at me. It's just a lone cow moose, though. The heck? Oh my goodness, you're joking. You're joking, we found a cow moose. And there's not even a calf. You're joking. You've got to be joking. I... I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, the one cow moose we find, and it doesn't even have a calf, so if that continues to be the case, we... Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do. I'll leave it up to you what the outcome should be, if it should count as a positive, or not a positive, if it should count as a neutral or a negative if we don't find a moose. But man, you guys, honestly, I'm I'm floored. I, I can't... I can't believe... Oh, we've got a bear. I, I can't believe it. We found a moose. We found a cow moose. At this rate, we may have to go for a cow moose, but I don't think we can do that. I don't even think... You know, we may have to take a mate. There, There isn't anything in the rules that says that uh, we can't get help, and I think maybe this incident will, will realize, make Sparrow realize that maybe he does need a companion to help him with this. If it was a moose calf... Maybe he'd be able to handle it, but if the only options he's going to find are ones that are going to be more difficult, well, he may need a companion to help him on his quest here. But uh, that sleep meter has indeed run out, so it looks like it is going to be time for us to wrap up. We're going to go ahead and find somewhere to settle down for the night, and we're going to end off the episode here. I guess maybe we'll kind of snuggle up against the cliffs here. Oh, there certainly are plenty of elk nearby. There's elk calves, but there's no moose calves.
And uh, that's a bit of a problem, but we'll find kind of our, our hollow here, and we will let Sparrow settle down for the night. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, this is Jay, over and out.